Oh, hey gamers, it's your boy Dayani, and I'm playing the new Animal Crossing game, as I'm sure many of you are as well. And personally, I've been loving it. It's such a wholesome experience that I couldn't- Wait, hold on, what? Wait, Tom, no, no, come on, you can't- you can't do this to me, I'll be in debt for the rest of my life. Please, is there anything I can do if I- I am Pee-wee. Now is not the time, Pee-wee! Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons, the game that not only took over the internet, but my life is in. in Animal Crossing New Horizons, it's your time to let your creativity shine, to get an island all to yourself, and it's your opportunity to make what you want of it. Now, personally, this is my very first Animal Crossing game, so I had to be very serious about this. When Tom asked me what I want my very own island name to be, I intellectually chose Gamerland. Now, why did I decide on Gamerland, you may be asking. It's because every person on this island must be a gamer, and if you try to sneak on this island as a non-gamer, you're sentenced to death. <laughs> just kidding, not really, that, it, that was a joke. I just thought it was a funny name. Anyway, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you are on an island with Tom Nook, his two nephews Timmy and Tommy, and a few other villagers to make this island your personal paradise. <laughs> The introduction of New Horizons is pretty slow paced. Before you're thrown into the world with full freedom, you first gotta help Tom Nook get some wood, help the other villagers place their tents, and learn the basics of the game. But soon enough, you get full freedom to do what you want. Tom Nook hooks you up with a brand new phone, a free tent, and about a million bells in debt. Animal Crossing is a do-whatever-you-want type game. You can go fishing, customize the world, discover new things, you really just be vibin'. It's like real life, but it's fun because it's video game. Doing errands in real life? Nah, 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 that's, that's too boring. Doing errands in Animal Crossing? Fun. I see no problem here. Also, not to mention, this game looks amazing. Like, when you compare the old villagers from the original game to the new ones, <coughs> ah, much better. So there's a lot of detail that goes into the design of this game, and I'm really impressed. Even the most minimal things, there's animations for. Now the question for a lot of people who haven't played Animal Crossing is, what exactly do you do? So like I said, with this being my first Animal Crossing experience, aside from Pocket Camp and Twitter, and I don't think Twitter counts as a valid source, I had the same question. But it's really up to you to decide on how you want to play. You set your own goals in the game. If your goal is to catch every fish, well, you can do exactly that. I'm glad this game aims for realism. If your goal is to make this, then you do that. But the amount of stuff to actually do in the game is ridiculous. Every time I get on, it feels like there's something new to explore, or to unlock, or to find. There's never a lack of stuff to do, it's just what you decide on doing. And there's no rush with anything either. More so than anything, there's actually a wait. Since the game is in synchronization with real world time, there are often times where you have to wait hours, days, or months for new stuff to occur. But that makes everything the more rewarding for me personally. I genuinely appreciate the amount of creativity that there is in this game. One of my favorite things to do is see other people's creations, whether it be costumes, clothing, or anything else. And I'm really happy this game has multiplayer, because the experience is only more fun with friends. You're able to visit your friends' islands, see what they're up to, and mess with their villagers. And I've barely scratched the surface in terms of how much stuff I've actually done with the game. And like I said, that's just because there is so much stuff to do. It's so easy to waste time by doing simple things like fishing, an hour goes by and I remember that I'm still sitting on the toilet. My personal experience with this game has been a blast. It's just one of those games that I've personally been waiting a very long time for, just because I appreciate what it is. It's a casual game with an invested fan base because this game is just a really nice game. It's wholesome and I love it. I love everything about this game and I'm looking forward for how much stuff there is to actually do. And as the CEO of Gamer Island, I shall make the best island to ever exist. Perfect. Hey gamers, thank you for watching this video. It means a bunch to me. Um, I have a second channel now, so if you want to see more gamer content, uh, more laid back type stuff, feel free to subscribe. I'll be uploading a bunch on there. Um, also, feel free to join my Discord if you want to talk about video games with me. But uh, that's basically it. I will see you in the next one. Adios.